In this video, we're going to take a look at the Storm Strike helicopter by Lennard and the Click and Play Blackhawk helicopter. So first, we'll take a look at the uh, Kong Skull Island helicopter, the Storm Strike um, expedition vehicle, and it comes with a figure. Box is pretty nice. You got uh, Kong versing a uh, giant snake of some sort on the back. I mean, this box came through a little bit uh, damaged, uh, which to me is irrelevant because I'm going to discard it. Um, this is also a Walmart exclusive, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to pause for a minute, get it out of the box, and get a better look. So after removing about 500 rubber bands, here's a look at the Storm Strike uh, helicopter. It's actually pretty neat. Um, slightly bigger than like a little bird. And it does come with a pilot. Um, looks like at one point he was supposed to come with a parachute, which it did not. Um, typical looking Lennard figure. Um, the head is really usable for a custom. The rest of it, not so much. Um, Size-wise, he's right in scale with a Joy Toy, this side, or a G.I. Joe figure. Um, and it would be the same with um, most other uh, four inch figures. Uh, Marauder figures, um, Marvel figures. Um, anyway, back to the helicopter. Um, it does seat uh, one figure, which in this case you can put either a uh, G.I. Joe figure, and I don't think it's going to fit properly in there, anyway. or a modified Joy Toy figure. And this figure I have uh, removed part of the crotch so the hips uh, can come forward more. Now he can fit in there uh, just fine. So it does scale fine with those. Um, it's, you know, pretty decent helicopter. And if you pick it up for in the $20 range, I think it's worth it. Especially if you want some variety to uh, what you have in your Air Force. I think it's neat. Um, and like I said, the, um, the helmet I would definitely dremel out. And um, you can actually use it as a usable helmet then for uh, a pilot if you want to make a custom. So that's that. Again, I think that that's a pretty good deal. Um, now we're going to take a look at the Black Hawk. I'm just going to move this over, so we'll take a pause. So now we're on to the Black Hawk, and this is by uh, Click and Play. Um, just judging by the box, you can see it's going to be a rather big uh, helicopter. Uh, box is pretty neat. The back gives you everything that's included. It also gives you other vehicles that they make. Um, I right now have the Humvee, uh, the Little Bird, and obviously the Black Hawk. Um, it's kind of, I think about it, that I'm going to get out of those. I guess if I saw the combat tank, I would pick it up for a decent price. Um, and possibly the FA-18 uh, Hornet. All right, so now we're gonna pause again and we're gonna remove the Blackhawk from its box. So we'll, we'll be uh, right back. All right, so here's a look at the uh, Click and Play Blackhawk. Uh, this comes with a ton of accessories. So if you're buying this for uh, you know a child who's getting into action figures, that type of thing, this is a really great starter set. Um, you can see here all the gear it comes with. Um, again, it's a lot, lot of play value. Um, and it also comes with four action figures. Uh, each one has a unique face. Uh, it's funny, you can see compared to the Lenord one, though, how small the helmet is on this one. It's actually almost undersized. So this guy's got a little pea head. Um, so, and also there's no articulation on the head at all on this one. Otherwise, all of these um, have typical um, Power Team Elite style uh, articulation, which even though they're not aesthetically good looking figures, they're extremely poseable figures. Uh, now onto the Black Hawk itself. Um, really good size vehicle. Again, I paid $42 shipped for this uh, on Amazon because you pay anything. I think it's over 35 bucks or 40 bucks it was shipped for free. Um, it has two opening side panel doors which can fit four people. 
And then the cockpit doors open, and we're going to check out uh, again the Joy Toy and the um, Hasbro G.I. Joe figure. So it fits very nicely in there. And we'll put the flint on the other side. He's a little bit tougher to get in because of his um, pouches. Um, so it's not really a, a good example of that. But again, he does fit fine in there. And again, the side door opens, uh, the rotors spin, the rear tail rotor spins. Um, and if you haven't got one of these, I've got a couple uh, 21st century hum uh, Humvees, Hueys and um, Blackhawks. So this actually size-wise fits right in with those. Um, just all around a really good piece. So if you had any questions or on the table of, uh, or on the fence of getting it, I absolutely would recommend it. Um, and you can see the difference. We'll check it out with the con one. And like I was saying about with the heads, um, you can see this head is almost needs to be upsized because uh, the sculpting's not bad, but it's ridiculously small. So the Lenord one does win out there. Um, but in you know, in my figure collecting, I really wouldn't use any of these figures. Um, but I would use both of these helicopters, so they're really neat. So if you have any other uh, questions, you can leave them in the comment section. Um, otherwise, I hope everybody has a really great day, and I will catch you later. Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye! Bye.